Chompy T-Rex. It's the um, Gabu Tyra de Carnival. Um, yeah, um, this is going to be a bit of a, um, how, how do I say, complicated video because when this arrived in the um, the post, because I got this from eBay with the Gabriel Revolver from the previous video. When this arrived, I underestimated how many functions this item would have. Because believe it or not, this has a lot of sounds for a change of morpher. So I had to write a little reminders list. Ta-da! On a document for me to remember what each thing does. So if this video goes ahead... While I sound a bit like a robot talking a bit slowly like this, then apologies. My memory is a bit stinky right now, so uh, I probably won't be able to re remember anything. But before we get to this main part of the video, very quickly, this is going to be very random. Do you, do you remember Ribena? Well, I certainly do. It was, um, Alton Towers at Salt Park in Chessington were sponsored by them for certain rides. In the 2000s, Alton Towers had a, an, an attraction called Ribena Berry Bish Bash, later shortened to just Berry Bish Bash when the sponsorship got removed. The ride still exists now as Justin's House Pyromatic Factory in Sibibi's Land. So, Salt Park had Ribena Berry Bish, not Berry Bish Bash, um, Salt Park had Ribena Rumba Rapids, which is still there today, just 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 called Rumba Rapids. And um, Chesterton had Ribena Berry Bouncers, which are now just called Treetop Hoppers, not Treetop Hoppers, yeah, actually, I don't know, Jungle Bouncers, I think that's, I think that's what they're called, I'm not too caught upon Chesterton stuff, anyway, when those sponsorships were happening, this was Ribuna's mascot, yeah, it's a big purple berry, with antennas, bendy antennas even, I bought this from eBay a while ago, um, it's got, um, that's actually got irreplaceable electronics and this is very cute. So I've been a berry. Anyway, you push the top part here, this part here. It used to have a sticker, I think, saying push me, but uh, stickers on plush toys don't really tend to work. Anyway, you push it and it does this. <laughs> Noise. Right. With that weird interval out the way, we can carry on with... Gabby Tyra de Carnival. Sorry about that if, if, if you um, were, were, were weirded out by that. Anyway, um, Gabby Tyra de Carnival. Now, this is quite an interesting item, like I said before, as it has so many functions. But before, of course, we will, before that, we will show off it's included the Zudentry. This is, of course, the uh, Carnival Zudentry. I believe it's got a nice red and white colour scheme. One plus. Because this has a 1+, plus, I mean, you'd expect there to be like a 1-, minus, but like a depowered version of Curie Red, but they didn't have that, which is a bit like a... I, I think that's a missed opportunity. They could have done that, but hey, whatever. Um, it's got the same logo as the normal Gabby Tyro Um The paint up top is green and not yellow. Uh, in fact, I will be bringing up the normal Gabby Tyro Zudenshi for a uh, comparison in, in, in a bit. You push the button... This is the Brave Up State. Note, note how this is the normal Gabu Tyra. You push the, the button for the Brave In. Brave In! And there is Mini Tyra, which is this. Mini Tyra, sorry. I just knocked the American version over. We'll do a comparison for that later, like always. This is the Brave In State with the Gabu Mi Mini Tyra imagery going on and with a sparkly sticker. Again, this only has two slides, like... All the uh, Zudenshi, as you can see, we have the top and the bottom as well. It's just one panel. Um, now, of course, I will do a comparison with the normal Gabu Tyra Zudenshi, which is still inside the uh, Gabu revolver. They're both in their uh, brave in states. Um, as you can see, the colours are very different indeed. Um, again, the logo is the same. The paint on top is different for the eye. Sparkly stick is kind of the same. Brave out states. I'm going to point out that this brave out state does not go in the dark. This one does. Of course, on the back we have the normal Gabu Tyra. This one is Gabu Tyra again, but just in different colour lettering. Um, of course, we have the uh, the pin codes on the side because um, this one has got. They've got two different pin codes. Um, 
This one's on, of course, on clear plastic. This one's an opaque plastic, which I don't mind at all. Just going to take the other two dentures out, because I'm going to need them both out later. They're both in their brave instates too, which is doubly nice. Oh, that sounds like a cereal commercial from America. Doubly not, doubly awesome. Ugh, been watching too many of those recently. Ugh, yeah, like the tricks commercials, huh? I mean, don't you, don't, I don't you'll remember those, because a lot of my audience is from Spain, Amer Spain, UK. If by but any chance you're from America, you might know the tricks commercials of the tricks rabbit who's not even allowed to eat his own cereal. Oh, uh, great. Uh, right, so before we go on to the electronics this guy has, we're going to have a look at the overall cosmetic design. And I'm going to point out that, yes, it's a small dinosaur. This is counted as one of the Zudenru, like, Zords, but this is technically a Zord, but it doesn't have any combining functionality. Which is a bit odd, I'm going to point out. Um, yeah, by calling it a Zord in Power Rangers, they were able to get away with that because, yes, it is a kind of a small robot. But by calling it a Zudenru and not having uh, not having the ability to combine, it's a bit weird, actually. It's mostly red, which is basically plastic colour. They've done, they've done up some nice metallic silver. Speakers right here. Metallic nowhere. So that's some white and yellow. This little thing, I don't know what it is. I think it might be its tail. Well, we'll get to that later. Um... Heads nicely done, Head the um, eyes done in metallic green I think, the yellow, the grey, the small arms, made of like softish plastic, the feet, grey, um, the other side is basically the same as well, uh, except for the fact that this grey button here is just painted over, it's just red and there's also those on, on off switch here. Inside the mouth again, there's a pin chamber. As you can see there's six pins inside there, which the uh, Zudentries will obviously push down on with the pins. One final thing I will say about this is that unlike the standard Zudentry from the Zord line or the um, Mecha line, this doesn't have like a manual open and close mouth, no. This mouth is actually spring-loaded. As you can see now, I don't really like doing that because it kind of makes this whole thing vibrate, makes it feel like it's about to come off. But I don't really like doing. Okay, right, well now turn on the sounds. Which makes the on or switch is on the back here. Turning it on gives you this. Standard uh, on noise. Now, this mode, the, the uh, Zuden Ryu mode in Mini Tyra, this is just called live mode. Live mode, um, it makes some sounds, but uh, most of the content is packed within the gun mode. Is this on the list? No, the, the list just consists of the gun mode. Right, we're going to just sort this out. So, we have a little grey button on the side. Pushing that will give you some regular old dino noises. With that one apparently being more cutesy than anything, but whatever. I don't know if they play randomly or they play in a loop, I don't know. Anywho, um, just trumping the mouth does nothing. But inserting a Zudenryu, it doesn't matter what Zudenryu you insert, just like with the American version in fact, it'll all do the same thing and one thing is about the live mode, you must insert the Zudenryu upside down. As you can see, the, the shape won't fit the um, normal Zudentry the right way around. So they've got to be upside down. So we're just going to use this Zudentry here. Inserting it will give you this. And removing it will give you this. That's meant to be his voice. And yeah, Gabriel Corin I think that's what they're saying at least. That's all this mode does. Again, doing a Zudentry, it won't do anything for the mouth. It won't do anything for this button either. It won't do anything at all uh, different. Now we're going to go to live, not live mode, because this is the mode it's currently in. We're going to go to gun mode. And the funny thing about gun mode is that to actually get it to gun mode, you've got to do a few, couple of bits of transforming. First thing is you've got to push down the little feathers on his head. Like this. And then you've got to flip in his little dino hands here. Now these are not easy to get out at all. They are easy to flip in though. Hang on, sorry about that. 
bad. Let's flip them into little holes at the bottom. There we go. And then we have a little release button on this side. As you can see, we have two sides. This, this side here is the release side. So you push on this side and flip out the gun handle. And in case you're wondering, in case you're curious, pressing the gun handle in live mode does nothing. Um, as you can see, there's like a little clear trigger at the bottom. There's like a little black looking thing. The trigger mechanism will just push down on that. And that's what causes all the sounds to happen. Because there can't be any, any there cannot be any circuitry in this handle because you move it around and it's, uh, it's all a bit strange. Another thing you must do is spin this head around um, until it is until the gun handle is facing the bottom. Now the thing is, I'm just gonna turn the sounds off for this because it's like a it's a cosmetic thing. Where's the uh, off? There. Turn the head around. Again, like the American version, we'll change the eyes. There we go. So, so the green side is like a little um, slide that appears. And the yellow side and the black is all nicely painted. Of course, you will get a sound for doing this. Um, we're just going to show that off. Karinshaw. So it says Karinshaw in two different voices. It says it in the Mini Tyra voice when going to live mode, and it says it in the normal voice for going to gun mode. Which is a nice touch because they didn't they, they they didn't have to do it like that, but whatever. Okay, now we are in gun mode. And the thing about gun mode is I can't just sit it set it down. I've actually got to hold it constantly. This trigger is actually pretty small, um, as you can see. There's no space for my little finger, but I can still get quite a good grip on it. Um, the gun mode via design is okay. I don't know how they I don't know how they didn't manage to fold these backwards because they could have done for like a feature, uh, but I suppose that would have gone in the way of the combining mode, which I will show off in a minute. Hence, what these two little things are for, and this little slider. But we'll get to that later. Anyway, in gun mode, um, yeah, the sounds are increased tenfold. Pushing the trigger will give you this. And again, you could just spam it if you want. Pushing this grey button will give you this noise. Which I'm not even sure what it is supposed to be. And closing the mouth will give you this. Like a chomp noise. Okay, so now this is all the Zudenshi do matter, because like I said before, this thing has got a Zudenshi reading system inside, which means it can read all of the Zudenshi. Now before we use this Zudenshi, the Carnival Zudenshi, and do a full-on henshin sequence, we are instead going to just show off the functions of the two other Zudenshi that I have, the Gabutari Zudenshi and the Stameri Zudenshi. First up is the Gabutari Zudenshi. I'm just going to show it like this, so you colour coordinate everything. In sense against you in good mode will give you this. Again, my uh, pins are a bit screwed. And, and, and of course, removing it gives you that little noise. Um, with some luck, we should be able to get this to work. Pushing the trigger when the Zudenshi is inserted. Oh. Why is it not working? Sorry about this. It's meant to do the normal firing noise and like an additional sound effect on the uh, end of it, but it's not really working. Let's try it the other way around. It works. Oh no. Oh sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh, I'm getting confused. It doesn't do it as soon as you load it in. It doesn't just give you the normal firing sound, sound when you load it in. You've actually got to chomp the mouth. Oh, sorry about that. Inserting and firing will, will give you the same firing noise. You've actually got to chomp the mouth to get a unique sound, I believe. In this case, it says Gabba Gabba Rigginshaw. And now when you push the trigger... 
you'll get the normal firing noise with an with an additional sound effect on the on the end of it. In this case, it'll be like a earthquake sound. So yeah, that was my fault. Sorry about that. Loading in these Stymeries Denshi. Again, normal firing sound. Mero Mero is the attack noise for this. And you'll get the normal firing noise again, but with like an added sound effect on the and on the end of it. And um, in the in the context of this Zudenshi, because this is meant to make um, the target fall in love with the first thing it sees, as seen in one episode of uh, Kyojo that, that was adapted into Dino Charge. It was the episode with the monster Memorella. I forgot what she was called in a Kyojo, but um, yeah, this that's meant to be like a love blast. The thing you just heard. So, uh, context is everything here, guys. Okay, now we are going to do a transformation. Okay, uh, just consulting the list there. We're going to do a transformation with this Zudenshi. Inserting it. And again, we'll, firing it will we'll give you the same noise. You've actually got to chomp the mouth to get a standby noise and then fire, I think. Samba music for some reason. Samba music odd player, so that's very nice. Samba Dino Gun, brilliant. Okay, so now it's in Curie Red Carnival mode. The firing noise is the same, but. After you've done a transformation with the Carnival Zidenji, you get a few extra features. Firstly, by... Um, yeah, this is what I meant, meant, like, talking about, talking like a robot. Firstly, by... No. Oh, yeah, the attack noise for the Carnival Zidenji is like three chomping noises. Forgot to show that off. Okay, so, like I said before, with the Carnival Z Zudenshi being like the, the whole henshin sequence, you do unlock a few um, things. Firstly, by pushing this grey button here, you'll now get this noise. And the standby noise. What you've got to do now, is you've got to... Well, it, it says to insert two different Zudenshi and then chop the mouth after each one to hear the a noise. But you can just use the same as you don't But for the sake of this video, let's use all three. Firstly, Gabby Tyra. So it's like chomping the mouth will confirm it. Stamero. Finally, Carnival. Stand by noise and then pulling the trigger. Very nice. So now you are... So... Strictly speaking, in the show, when you are when the Curie Red does this, he is armed with because there's certain combinations in the in this case. If you use the Stigotchi and the Drysera, that's blue and pink Rangers Zudenshi. We have the Gabutari Zudenshi. This one, he will will become he'll get different arms. And technically, you can do this like before. Like I've just demonstrated with with charged Zudenshis that don't have any like weapon counterparts. So that's pretty odd. And now pushing the trigger will give you the normal firing. Will give you. It won't give you the normal firing noise. I think it will give you. There. It will give you the individual attack noises for the first two Zudenji you inserted. So it doesn't matter about the third one. It just remembers the attack noises of these two. So this is the attack noise for Gabutira. 
and the one for Stamero. So that's pretty cool. And now when you're in the this mode here, you can chomp at the mouth and you get another finisher. And beware, this guy screams at the top of his lungs. I shall I will now be demonstrated. Standby noise. Trigger. I do like that, it's like flash explosions. Consulting the list. Okay, okay, so that's basically everything this does. If you have each individual Zudenshi, like at least or at least zero um ones through zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then all the way all the way up to like 23 plus a few extra ones you will get a lot of functionality from this gun um, As it stands on its own this gun has enough damn functionality as it is Just with the Suzu Denshi that I showed you Or just with this one because don't forget for the um the carnival You could just use the same Zudenshi I just used the same Zudenshi. So, like, well, like to prove my point, this gun has a lot of, has enough functionality on its own. It's got a lot more functionality than your average, I say your average Sentai gun, but I think the Gabriel Rubber had also enough uh, a lot of functionality. So, these guns do have a lot of functionality. And there's one more thing I will show off. It's the uh, combined mode that this gun can do if you have the um, the Gabu revolver. And for the sake of keeping everything compact, I will be, I will be putting these two Zudenshi back in the Gabu revolver real quick because they have no influence over the combination at all. And now one more thing I will say, for the combination to actually work, this must be in its mouth. You cannot do it without this. In fact, to, I'm just going to prove it to you real quick. In fact, just going to show off the sink for the Gabba revolver that I didn't touch on too much last time. There's a little function box down here, that's what I'm going to call it as. And if you look underneath, you can see there's two little claws, like these, like these release buttons. And there's a little black button right there. Now I have a Lego piece, a Lego dart that's just the right size and shape to get down into these little crevices and push these buttons. Pushing it while it was closed, it won't do anything, as you can see. But if you open it, and then push it, you'll hear this. Then releasing it will give you this. While it is combined, because you, you can do this with, with the Gabri Calibre, the sounds in this won't change at all. But let's combine the push and the trigger, we'll do this. And you can hold it for like a multi-attack. Spinning the trigger, spin the barrel won't do anything in this mode. No, bad, bad dino. Right, so that's what that does. And this gun has got a similar functionality because there's this little bar at the back where the little Gabu revolver is meant to slide in with the cute little grey cylinders for the little uh, the gun muzzles right at the at the, uh, the back at the front there and if you look down here inside there's a little clear which you, you can't really see there's like a little clear at the left side there like they look a bit red that's a little uh, a little trigger it's like a translucent plastic trigger and you can it also indeed do this The same release noises too. Now this does possess some functionality, but again you can't really get it to work without this Zudenshi. And to prove it, I'm just going to show you right now. 
Oh, never mind. It does work. It does work without the without the Z Denshi. Just gonna put it in there just for the. Uh, why not? Now we're gonna do the combined mode. Great. First off, we're gonna get the Gabo revolver ready. And what you wanna do here is you wanna slide these two things together. So make sure the the yellow box goes into the bottom of the red thing. And you have the combined mode, and this combined mode is pretty damn massive for a Sentai roleplay thing. It this is huge. It's also quite heavy, so I, I don't know how the the Japanese kids are meant to hold this. Um, the again the functionality on the Gabu on the Gabu revolver side because they both got activation triggers for because the, both these guns do different things in this mode. Again, we, we've already shown off what this gun does. But in the case of the Gabitari de Carnival, pressing the trigger now will give you this. But as for one final ultimate finisher, chomping the mouth will give you a standby and then a, and then a you push the trigger. Is that the best kind of finisher to end on? You bet it is, Bat Batman. Splitting the two guns and then turning them off because if we don't, we're going to be hearing Gabby Tyra, Stemmer, or Carnival all the time, which we don't want because um, it will involve the next part of the video, which is the American to which is the Japanese to American comparison. Um, which is the bit we'll, we, we will be doing now. And since this is the Gabu Tyra de Carnival video, we will be comparing both Gabu Tyra de Carnival and the Dino Supercharged Morpher. So let's bring in both. And we can show them off. And yeah, as you can see, the American one, as per usual, is pretty diddy. It is quite small compared to the uh, American version, but that is to be expected. But other than that, I'd say the paint's pretty accurate. Because like, they, they kept the silver, metallic silver. They removed the little yellow outlines around here, which does take away from some of the colour, but not too much, in my opinion. They did keep the silver on the, the forehead here. They kept the black outlining and the yellow teeth. But also... If you can see here, there's there's no yellow, there's no red detailing on the eye here. There is some red detail on this eye right here. I think that's because of the yes, that's because of the detail on the the gun mode. Because the only colour this turns to is yellow. And this outlining here is just meant to be for the yellow eye. But still, this is paint that isn't really uh, available on this. But it's just to save cash. Which, I mean, they they still kept the paint. And they just found a different way of applying it. Which is good. I like that. It's finding a way around the, uh, the, the problem. And of course, like always, we will be doing a comparison between the two Zudenshi. Here they are, of course the American one's a lot smaller, they removed the green paint from the top of the eye, the sticker's the same I believe, there's no sparkly sticker for the, um, the, on the blue side, and again this one has two sides, this one's got four slides, which means you get something weird like um, this, head of mini Tyra, body of um, Gabby Tyra. And of course, on the left side, there's a QR code. And on the right side, of course, there's the pin code. Of course, this side doesn't have pin codes on both sides. This one does. So this one's got two sets of pins. This one's only got one set of pins. And of course, on the back, this one doesn't say Gabu Tire, it just says Tyrannosaurus Rex. Other than that, the paint is the same, I believe, um, which is good. The again, if we have a look inside of the um, the barrels here, this one has got a six-pin circuit board. There we go. Whereas this one's actually, uh, and we got a five-pin circuit board because that's how the American Dino Charge toys work. Here we go. Let's take a look. 
come on. Yeah. It's got like a five pin circuit board, but the pins are like the same, like the sin kind. You can't just put Although I did try to put my finger in there and it, and it did work. I think I said that previous time before. Um the other differences, the the transformation differences the American version has. These feathers go down here. They don't go down on this version, which is okay, that's understandable. The trigger on this version comes out and back in again via a release switch. This trigger is always out permanently. Which is understandable. It looks like he's got more of a tail, which I understand. Um, and also, this back bit here is practically non-existent on, on this version, which I, I'm, I mean, I, I do get it. I, I do get it, because if this is meant to be his tail, this is like a replacement tail, which I, I like. Because the paint on the, the trigger is, of course, missing as well, because there's missing grey, there's missing black. But, yeah, they have to cut some corners somewhere. Which I don't really mind at all. Um, again, the mouth here is manual, open, close. This, manual, this, this mouth, of course, is spring-loaded. There's a little release button on top of the nose here, which moves the little black guard in in around which is a bit strange because the Japanese version didn't have this kind of guard at, at the top there which makes me think is that an improvement over the Japanese version is it hmm I don't know it I don't know because these ones just click in and they get removed a lot more and there's no like proper release there's no proper locking mechanism on there although it does lock in quite well in fact on that note I will have a quick look to see how it does lock in um Oh, there's like a, it's quite, um, it's not uh, a tighter locking mechanism as this. It, the, the, there is a locking mechanism, mechanism inside this, but it's not as strong as this one. It doesn't feel as strong, at least. Um, it, I mean, come on, this is literally just a barrier. I must say locking, locking mechanism. This one has a locking me mechanism. This has just got like a black barrier. Hmm. You, you can also do this if you want. Which just looks plain wrong. Uh, again, spinning to transform literally just, literally just involves spinning this head. These hands here, they are moulded. Whereas these grey ones can be flipped in on the uh, Japanese version. Like this. Of course, the gun mode... Um, hang on, let's just get the trigger out here. Of course, the the gun mode, of course, does retain the kind the same kind of decoration from the from the the, the dino mode. Um, there's missing black paint on the where, where the feet where, where the feet are. Of course, the back looks looks a lot different because there's no like grey circles, which of course is the most important difference. Of course. Ugh. Okay, now we're gonna do the combined mode. Um, for the dino charge version. There is a little combo um, switch right here that activates new sounds. There is no combo switch inside of here. It's not. Yeah, it's not going. There we go. Click. Um, and of course, for the Japanese version, click. Of course, the site does a massive size difference. Uh, that's basically the only thing I've got really got to say about this. As you can see, there is a really massive size difference compared to these two. Um, not really doing an appropriate enough shot, am I? There we go. There is a massive size difference between these two things. I mean, look, here's my hand on the American version. Here's my hand on the Japanese version. This one's not really much of a challenge to hold by the yellow handle. If you hold this on by the yellow handle, it feels like that the it's just going to drop off. So maybe don't do that. So yeah, um, again, there's not really much to say about the combined mode comparison apart from the size difference. But believe me, it is a massive size difference. So yeah, and that's basically everything to do with this video. Um, in short, what do I think of um, the Gabu um, Tyrody Carnival? Well, again, like most people, I didn't expect to have 
this to have as much functionality as it did and that I'm really proud of it for having for like having that much stuff involved with the production because honestly the live mode is pretty lacking and it doesn't really need to have that much functionality but the gun mode oh my god the gun mode is just brilliant it has a lot of stuff the handle right the handle is actually quite small so I would have liked a bit of a a bigger handle but it's understandable why they couldn't do that because they had to make it comply with this design right here so if they were to alter the, the size of the handle they'd have to alter the entire toy and I know how why they wouldn't have to do that so that's not I'll, I'll give them a pass on that one because well they can't really alter something that's out of their control can they um again the combined mode does unlock some nice features by that I mean finishing noises and the the voice this has Along with the voice and the normal Gabo revolver, it's pretty hyped, I must say. Um, I don't mind that at all. Um, which is all pretty neat and everything. Um, I'm just, I don't understand the standby music. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure there's a logical explanation. I don't understand why the sound. I mean, I don't mind the standby music at all. In fact, I actually kind of love it. Um, but the fact this can read all of this all of the Zudenshi. I mean mind you the American version can too. So if anything, because this was a this had a lot of functionality, I suppose it made this get get a lot of functionality too. Because it this adapts whatever the American what, what whatever the Japanese versions can offer. Again, this button right here, um on the other side, this does nothing, but again. That's unnecessary because the fun the button functionality th th this had it wasn't really in live mode at least it wasn't that much but the uh, yeah it feels like that hmm, this version could have done with the the um what what the whatever they called the Amigo Carnival the like the the, the Ranger combining function it feels like they could have had that in the American version um. Although I don't really know how they'd pull it off with the the technology because I think it's one thing to have a thing read the gimmick, like the batteries. It's another thing to have it be able to remember what batteries you just inserted. Um, oh yeah, in case you're wondering, I'm, when I say batteries, I'm literally referring to these because they're, they're meant to be batteries. So, uh, so I think the whole memory thing would, would cost a bit more. And if that's the case, uh, yeah, I can see why the American version doesn't have it. Um, so yeah, that's all that video done. And one thing I can say right now, turned off on, this is the, I think it's the one of the few guns from Power Rangers that doesn't need, need to have the orange caps on because look, look where the um, actual gun muzzles are supposed to be. These are their gun muzzles and they're not orange, so victory for the Americas! Uh!